There's a fairly new but dangerous trend among teenagers, sexting, basically sending explicit text messages and pictures to friends or even strangers. Yeah, here this morning to talk about what parents need to know is a clinical psychologist that specializes in teenagers and the co-author of Teenage as a Second Language, Dr. Barbara Greenberg. Thank you for being here. Very nice to be here. Again. Now, I'll tell you, we were looking through some of these acronyms that yes. teens use and it's really shocking. Shocking. Yeah. Yeah. They are very explicit. Let me tell you about some, some of, of them. Some of them we can't even ones. really yeah. say Get what into. they mean. Yes. I can tell you what some of them mean. GNOC means get naked on camera. Eight refers to let's have oral sex. Anything that starts with a P refers to that there's a parent nearby. Let's stop texting. Because okay. I know POS was parent parent over, over the shoulder. shoulder. But I think, have they come up with new Absolutely. PIR, parents in the room. Mm -hmm. There's also, I'd like to have sex now talk dirty to me. How, how common is this? How often are kids sending these messages yes, to one another? It's a very good question. There's been a lot of controversy about that question lately and these are the figures that are most popular. Approximately 20 percent of teens admit that they have sent either semi-nude or nude photos of themselves to other teens. And the number gets larger and goes up to 39 percent when you ask them how frequently they have sent sexually explicit messages to other teens. Girls are more likely to send photos of themselves. Boys are more likely to send sexually explicit messages. Right. Now, so I'm sure a lot of parents are thinking, not my kid, right. not my kid. But in fact, it very well could be. So what do parents need to know? Obviously, they need to talk mm -hmm. to their kids about this. That's right. They need to know a lot of things. First, they need to know that they have to warn their kids about the dangers. One of the first things that they have to do is they have to make sure to talk to their kids calmly. Because anytime you talk to your kids calmly, they're more likely to listen. What they need to tell their kids is a message that is intended to be private can become quickly mm -hmm. in a matter of seconds. Electronic messages get transferred very quickly. And once something goes viral, we know that it's almost impossible to delete. Right. But sometimes teenagers don't realize that. Right. I mean, especially with, with the photos, too. But why are teens doing this? There's a lot of different reasons. I'm really glad you asked that question. I think the most important answer is that when people feel anonymous, they do things that they ordinarily wouldn't do. So when you're not face to face with somebody, you will do something that you wouldn't do. So they are not facing their peers, so they mm -hmm. will send a picture of themselves, not realizing that a lot of other people will see it. Also, teens are testing their, the impact of their own sexuality. Third, they may be dared by another peer to send a photo of themselves. Mm -hmm. And fourth, maybe they want a boy to like them who is asking them to show a part of their body. And they go for their dares. They're teenagers. Mm -hmm. Dr. Greenberg, would you say parents should, uh, certainly they're going to talk to their kids, but when their son or their daughter is in the shower, should they quick take a look at their cell phone just to check over? Yes. If they're I not sure what their, what their son or daughter is really telling them is mm -hmm. the truth. I, I love that question because I don't think they need to do it when they're in the shower. I don't think they need to do it secretively. I think when they hand the child the cell phone, they need to let them know that we will, I will be monitoring what you're doing. That's part of the role of being a parent, keeping your child safe and monitoring them. So yes, they should glance at it, but they don't necessarily need to do it it's secretly. Secret. So I'm in agreement with right. you, 100 yeah. percent. All right. It's certainly an, a very interesting topic and obviously becoming quite a problem among teenagers out there. And Dr. Greenberg, you're going to stick around and uh, join us for a web chat so we can email your questions into ctnow.com slash morning extra. I'm sure a lot of people are going to have Absolutely. a lot of questions for I'm you. I'm looking <laughs> forward to it. I'm sure they're going to be very interesting. All right. Thanks, Dr. Greenberg.